All right, Sam. Well, it's nice to be back in Japan, I'm sure. Um, obviously, the last time we were here, we probably didn't quite get the results we were looking for. That's a number of years ago. I want to talk to you about the fact, though, you've had, you've had a bit of a break, like this last month. How do you get this thing kick-started again, given the momentum you got at the back end of the Rugby Championship? Yeah, I mean, as long as I've been in the All Blacks, about 10 years or so, uh, we've never had a break like this following Rugby Championship. So... Look, I think it's had its, uh, its positives by sure. Like we, we've come in really excited for these last four games and it's crazy to think there's only four games left in the season. Whereas often we're coming off um, the rugby championship with maybe about a 10 day break thinking, man, we've got Northern Hemisphere away for four or five weeks. So the excitement levels are high. Um, but look, we're, we're going to try, we've done everything we can to make sure we don't want to have any excuses in terms of rust or trying to find our feet again. We're trying to hit the ground running. Um, all the training we've done has indicated we're in a pretty good spot, so hopefully we can put it out there and, and sort of take off from where we left off. You would have had some time to reflect too on what everyone's been through, but how much do you think the improvement's been, not just about, not just about the on-field performance, but maybe the, the mental side of preparing and playing and dealing with the pressure that was inside the group? Do you, do you think more gains maybe have been made there? Look, I hope so. Like what we, you, what you learn through periods like that, where there's lots of external noise, um, lots of pressure, is like just controlling what you can control and focus on what's important for us as a team and as an individual right now. And yeah, for sure, in, in pressure moments in games, that's all that you need to worry about. You've got to forget about the scoreboard, forget about the time pressure, and just worry about whether it's cleaning that ruck, catching that pass, making that tackle, all those type of things. So. Um, yeah, look, at the start of the season, look, we, we lost games that potentially we, we could have won when it comes down to key moments. Um, we've done pretty well since then, um, but the, the challenge is to keep, to keep making sure we're, we're on the right side of those. How tight's this group as a group? Are they getting tighter by the week, by the day? Yeah, look, I think so. Look, a large majority of the group were away for 15 weeks together last week, and, uh, well, last week, last year. Yeah. And uh, so now to be going on a, a four five week tour guys go oh it's not too bad yeah, yeah not too bad at all and, and excited about it like I said we're on tour of the All Blacks it's it's pretty awesome so the groups yeah I reckon, I reckon they're tight you know we've got guys who have been there a, a long time now and know what it's about um, and these guys particularly getting a crack tomorrow night who have help, been helping us prepare yeah. week in week out um, and they've been exceptional so hopefully they I'm, I'm really excited to see them play and hopefully they can put their hand up and, and do themselves and their families proud. I hope so too. Uh, look, it's a, it's a huge occasion, but you think about these four test matches, in a lot of ways they're, they're vastly different. Is this where you'll maybe get tested that you probably have to adapt? Look, it's an afternoon game in Japan, clearly playing in Cardiff is different playing to Twickenham. I'm sure you haven't talked a lot about that, but do you almost accept the fact that you guys will evolve a lot in the next month? Yeah, for sure. I think when you talk about adapting, like we've been doing that for the last couple of years with COVID, um, things haven't always you know, gone the way we want them. Even this week with training and, and traffic, we've um, congested um, sort of yep. two trainings and two and gym sessions back to back to avoid um, spending two hours on the bus each day. So that's slightly different. And um, even when we get to the UK, you know, there's some different turnarounds, an eight day turnaround, a six day turnaround. Um, something we're used to during Super Rugby, but have, haven't really experienced it here in the All Blacks. So I'm sure the guys will be, will be good at adjusting and yeah, we'll be right. Someone's having a go. They're trying to get you. They always do. One kick. All right, mate, good luck. Okay, good luck this weekend. Tour well, and we look forward to seeing you back out there. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Goldie. All right, we've got to make sure you tune in. It's going to happen here. It's happening at the National Stadium here in Japan. The Brave Blossoms, the All Blacks, they go at it once again in front of 65,000 people, and it's all live and exclusive on Sky.